Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I am Katie and I am going to do a makeup look today. It is on a look that I did a couple months ago. It's kind of bold, but really pretty and I loved it. So I wanted to actually record it. So let's get into it, as my daughter would say. So I'm gonna start by priming my face with the no pore <laughs> no pore blum problem by Touch and Soul. Let's press it in a little bit more. So then today I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Um, Honestly, if you guys really want to know what shade it is, it's warm nude, but I've taken a lot of um, white into it, so it's really no longer warm nude. It's a lot lighter now. So we're just gonna go in with a little bit. And just pounce it in. Um, conceal and highlight with Tarte Shape Tape and Light Neutral, and I'm and I'm also gonna prime my eyes. I'm almost out. I'm almost out, guys. It's okay, I have backups. <laughs> Alright, I have a backup. Set with the Gosh Priming Set. I've really been enjoying this. So. Do a light, a very light dusting over the face. light dusting became a little bit more. I'm gonna take that powder. I'm really gonna, I'm not gonna bake, but I'm gonna really press it in around my nose, and around my smile lines. It's where my foundation breaks apart and sinks into my lines a little bit. Now I'm going to take some different translucent powder and I'm going to carve out the shape of the eye look that I'm going to do today. Um, I'm gonna take the RCMA translucent powder and my beauty blender. Um, puff. This will help if there's any fallout. And whatnot. So, just gonna stamp it out. Okay, so today I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette and I am going to go in with the bright purple cane. That is the Color that is really gonna just make this look. So, right now, I'm just putting it in the outer corner because that's where it's gonna be the most predominant. I'm just doing a stamping motion. And then I'll take 
take this little itty bitty brush and start blending it out. Colors, it is they're true pigments, like press like actual pressed pigments, not just eyeshadows, and they do have a bit of kickback. Um I honestly don't think they have like <clears throat> they have a little bit of kickback. However, um I only have the soft the other palette of Anastasia's that I have is a soft lamb palette and that one has a little bit of kickback as well, but it's nothing too crazy in my opinion. Um, I'm gonna take Sables, which is the pure white in here, in paints and mix it together to create lighter purple. Taking those shades, sails, and canes, and just mixing them together. And now I'm just taking them into the crease a little bit. And transition. It's not fun, fun. I'm just gonna rebuild up this pigment here. With this ankle brush, I'm going to kind of line here. shader brush. I'm going to take um, sales and that is literally going to be our Shadows are so pigmented that it's kind of like worth it. <laughs> this week, like not completely worth it, but like they're so good that you you can just overlook that. You see, even with that fallout, they're you like wiping it away. You can't even. There's no purple on my face. The pigment did not stay there at all. I'm gonna take that angled brush again. We did the liner with. Good. Fix this line. I'm just going to basically take canes and sails and smoke out my lower lash line real quick. And then we'll call it a day. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to finish the face. <laughs> but that's all I'm going to just take a mixture of the two and do more. Okay. The patch there, and I think it's because of the translucent powder first when I put down because it wasn't perfect. So I'm just trying to. Mm -hmm. 
I am still learning and I'm by no means perfect. You guys remember that? I just want to share with you how I got this look and if you're so much better at it, good job. You know, but I like this look and I wanted you all to see it. Okay? So I'm going to put some mascara on. Uh, I'm going to use the Wander Beauty Unlashed Mascara. I love this mascara on this one. It became a favorite of mine real quick after I got it in a boxy charm. I can probably do this with without lashes, but I'm gonna attempt lashes today, guys. Who am I? I'm gonna use the Lashaholic Luxury Lashes in Instaglam. Again, a boxy charm item. Not a big lash person normally, but I've been trying to These are sort of well loved. I have worn them quite a few times. And by that I mean like five times. <laughs> quite a few for me. Okay, so I'm gonna do the second lash. Oh, you got it. Yeah, buddy. Now we're gonna go on to the rest of the face. The contour and bronze with the Milani Silky Matte and Sun Kissed. This little thing I got it from an Ipsy bag. Shade name or anything like that, but it's in my little palette, and I need to use them up so they don't just sit there. Can you try my eyes? Let me try a different brush. I don't feel like it's showing up. Okay, let's try a different one. I think this is an Urban, the Urban Decay Sin one, I think. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I think it is. Try this. Not usually this subtle. Let me get some finger in here. Bag thing. I'm gonna do my brows. Mellow brow definer. second brows. <laughs> oh, that's my life. I don't... One, I have decent, decently hairy brows. But two, I just... Eh, they're brows. Highlight and clean up with this Sigma clean up and highlight brow brow. enjoy it because I normally don't do this. This is not stuff in my normal mm -hmm. mm, This is sometimes just an unnecessary stuff. But I actually enjoy this. I think it looks really good. Put 
mascara on the lower lash line. So we're gonna finish this look off with the MAC Aladdin collection in Friend Like Me lipstick. Um, before I got this lipstick, which was a gift, again, from a friend, I have never tried a MAC lipstick before. Sorry guys, that's my least favorite part of watching makeup tutorials, so I apologize. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this, like, isn't the packaging just gorgeous? Um, also, it smells like vanilla, but like a very hint, like just the barest hint of vanilla. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I upload every Saturday at 8 a.m. Arizona time. If you recreate this look, please tag me in your looks on Instagram or Twitter, or you can even post it to my Facebook page. I will link everything in the description box below. So. I'll see you guys in the next one.